All right, welcome back to Rise to Stardom Season 7, ladies and gents. And I say ladies because coming up next, we have a match within our women's division. We have the NCW Women's Champion, the newly crowned women's champion. She fly and armbarred her way all the way to victory and take home the title, Samantha Pierre. She's on a debuting superstar here tonight.
Emma Brooks winning in her debut here tonight here, ladies and gentlemen. Nonetheless, we got the women's champion attacking her here. And this matchup just rages on Emma Brooks. After winning this matchup here tonight, was attacked by the women's champion, Samantha Pierre, and an awesome showing here in her debut. Emma Brooks now, Pele kick. And the referee is trying to say, end it, just stop fighting, ladies. And Emma Brooks is not going to go down quite that easily here, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking to show off her finisher here. Oh, man, what a knee to the face. And then a hell of a penalty kick there. And wow. Emma Brooks in one hell of a debut here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Just shocked the world and put down the women's champion in a non-title matchup. Congratulations to Emma Brooks on her victory here tonight. All right, fans. This rise and rage is on as we enter our mid card here tonight with this tag team matchup between Danny Harris and Zangar Venu teaming up here tonight in the most unlikely of alliances to go up against two of the three unholy trinity, that being Aaron the Destroyer 
Air teaming up here tonight as uh, former tag team champions that they are, along with Ryan Riley, the new generation champion event. He will be ringside here for this tonight. Danny Harris will meet Ryan Riley this time for the new generation championship in two weeks at War of the Worlds. It is certainly going to be an awesome click purview to say the least, but here tonight, Sangar Vanu and Danny Harris band together in their efforts to take on two of the three members of the Unholy Trinity here tonight in tag team action. Rise to Who's ready for a tag team match? Here we go in the mid card here tonight. Zangar Venu, number one contender to Ryan Riley's new generation championship. Of course, these two have been fighting for some time now, a couple weeks. And now, uh, Ryan Riley, who has just recently won the NCW new generation title, he will now be having to put that on the line against this man. First the contender heading his way or making his way down to the ring. Here he is, the one and only Danny Harris. The god of hardcore is here this evening. And I'm going to tell you what, he's going to have to keep his hardcore urges under control. As this is a tag team matchup, disqualification is in effect here tonight. So if he gets disqualified in this tag match, I don't exactly think that Zangar Venu He's going to like that. Then again, we don't know because Zangar is quite crazy, to say the least. He's definitely not the same individual he was in the past, a more serious individual now. Nonetheless, his partner, Danny Harris, the man who is the voice of the outcast, he is here tonight ready to face the unholy trinity former tag team champions and that's got to be one thing you got to watch out for fans the fact that danny harris and zangar venu are one of the are uh, two of the best talents in the world but but at the end of the day these two are single superstars trying to get together in a one night only type uh matchup and i don't know if they're going to be able to overcome former tag team champions. We shall find out. Nonetheless, Danny Harris's tag team partner now on his way down to the ring. Here we go. Man formerly known as NCW's party boy. I don't necessarily know if we can call him the party boy anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Because this man has certainly turned up his aggression since returning here to the land of the nightmare. One of the greatest calls in the world. Former Twitch uh, Cruiserweight champion. Former NCW Extreme Champion, here he is, the one and only Zangar Fanu. The Zen Master is here with us here tonight, and he is ready to go for this tag team affair. Danny Harris and Zangar Fanu, two men who have never teamed up before, now teaming up here tonight in the land of the nightmare in this uh mashup team, if you will, this team up, if you will. I'm not really going to call it a team. It's more like a one-time event, more like a team up, if you will. Nonetheless, here tonight, Danny Harris, Zangar Venu. These two have had common enemies in the past couple weeks, and now finally these two are going to get together and take on the unholy trinity right here tonight in the land of the nightmare.
Zangar certainly is a different animal now, to say the least. This young man used to be fun-loving. Used to have a lot of fun here in the land of the nightmare. Especially when he walked in with a belt. Nonetheless, ever since Eric Hale took him out, the wicked cipher took him out of the plant, took him off the playing field with an injury. Zangar Venu has certainly changed the way he looks at things. And now, here tonight, a uh, couple weeks after his comeback, where he came back with a uh, kendo stick, certainly. Destroyed his opponents. Nonetheless, here they are, their opponents on their way down to the ring, the Unholy Trinity. So, the Unholy Trinity, artist formerly known as. Uh, <clears throat> Genesis here with us in the land of the nightmare. There's another league. They want the rights to the name Genesis, so we're going to give it to them because we're cool like that. Nonetheless, here they are, now going by the moniker of the team, the trio of the Unholy Trinity. All three of these men, former multiple-time singles champions as well as collectively former tag team champions together. Eric Hale, of course, everybody I remember two, three months ago when the question going around the live wire roster was why, Eric, why? Why would you destroy Sangar Venu and injure him and take him out of the land of the nightmare? Eric Hale did it, and ever since then, he has not looked back. Because I'm going to tell you what, the former NCW Cruiserweight Champion would go on to win the Twitch TV title and the tag titles with the likes of Ryan Riley and Aaron the Destroyer. There you see Ryan Riley with his new generation title. Aaron the Destroyer, the winner of the War Nightmare World Cup. All of them, former champions. Ryan Riley currently holds the new gen title. Nonetheless, he's not in the matchup here tonight. It is the Unholy Trinity versus Danny Harris and Zangar Venu. And look at Danny go. As soon as the bell starts, he is not wasting any time. He's looking to lay the smack down here on Aaron the Destroyer as this matchup rages on. Look at Danny Harris go. Good board, ladies and gentlemen. What great athleticism here by the Lunatic as he is definitely in control in the opening moments here of Aaron the Destroyer. A lot of people felt that Danny Harris was the ultimate favorite to go into the Nightmare World Cup. He didn't win it. Instead, it was his opponent at this point in time Aaron the Destroyer, who would go all the way six wins straight and win the Nightmare World Cup. Nonetheless, these two here tonight in this tag team warfare, Zangar Venu and Eric, the Eric Hale, who have had their problems in the past, we have said many times before, neither one of them the legal men here at this point in time. Instead, is Danny Harris and Aaron the Destroyer. This matchup is continuing, and Aaron now looking to seemingly use an old Ryan Riley move. Look at that, the double R roller coaster there, sending Danny Harris down, and look at that, taunting his downed opponent here. Aaron the Destroyer in complete control. Aaron the Destroyer using some great technicality to get behind and hit him with a double neck breaker there. Down goes the voice of the outcast. Danny Harris. And now Danny Harris back to a knee, but look out, here comes Aaron the Destroyer lying like a snake in the grass just to hit that sidewinder slam. And now he's not done, kick to the cut, knee there. There it is, the train wreck, a patented maneuver by all members of the Unholy Trinity, but Zangar Venu in there quickly. Gets caught with a Famouser from behind by Eric Hale, and Eric Hale getting him whatever cheap shots he can to Zangar Venu here. Look at this, Tope Atomico here by the former Twitch television champion, but to no avail. Instead, he gets caught and gets put down with a rolling fisherman suplex here. Danny Harris now taunting his opponent. He's in a bad way, uh-oh. Clothesline there, and here comes Danny Harris. The outcast going off there, ending with a drop kick, and he is in complete control. The lunatic is off his hinges here. 
rolling forearm puts him down immediately. The new generation champion distracting the referee. Meanwhile, Danny Harris not falling for the attempts here of the unholy trinity, the dastardly attempts to distract him and, or the referee. He's not taking his mind off of the game here. Instead, right here in control of Aaron the Destroyer now menacingly standing over top of him from behind and not even doing anything. This is a little weird. Looks like he's going to wait until he gets to his feet here. Danny Harris now. Uh-oh. Reversal there of a cutter. And Danny Harris going for a headbutt, but instead gets hit in the gut here. Nice and Zaguri gets uh, reversed here. Danny with a hell of a slap. Now got him up on his shoulders. Gut buster there, and he's not done. Stetan right there in front of his own partner. Zangar Venu is cheering on Danny Harris, an unlikely duo. To I was going to say we're in control here.